What's up winners? On this channel we learn to see through manipulation and have fun doing it. This article from Megan is maybe her most manipulative interview and it's not just her, this article, the writer, the association are trying to manipulate us. So let's check this out. First of all, Megan loves her posing and this is supposed to be about her grieving for the queen. So she takes the opportunity to use this, pretend to be grieving, to pose in a fashion magazine absolutely disgusting she is i'll say allegedly because you have to a sociopath i'm certain of it not just a narcissist a sociopath so it starts with she's in mourning but we'll get back to that right so they used the title about her being in mourning and now they're making it all about her how great she is etc etc more of her covers absolute narcissism now this is clearly designed to make Megan look good. They do all these little techniques. Oh, she's a nerdy mom. She's vulnerable. The public's wrong about her. This author, whoever it is, I would never trust a thing that Matt Donnelly writes um, ever. So that's who that is. Now, it's ridiculous. It goes on to talk about the success of her podcast, which shut down very soon after. But Oh my gosh, this picture is a classic, isn't it? What an embarrassment. Like she's trying to look attractive and flirty. It's just so embarrassing. Just like, like embarrassing. Like she's always been the same, just loving posing. Now, this is so gross because they made the last days of the queen's life very difficult. They went on the Oprah interview, and then afterwards they pretend to say, I loved her, it was so beautiful, etc. Oh, this is the classic uh, photo shoot for Megan.